People who commit terrible crimes against humanity tend to gain an infamous image and sometimes go down in history for that reason. They often become the subject of analysis and are essentially used as an example of what not to do. In fact, some of these people are studied in educational settings depending on what kind of impact they had in the world. But there are also those who have committed terrible crimes and for the most part have went unnoticed. While they may have been arrested or executed for their actions, they never received any attention from the press, they were never studied in school, and their terrifying crimes escaped the grasp of the public eye. Well, not today, because today we're going to be looking at just that. So here are five horrifically evil people you've never heard of. Number one is I Am Jack. Thomas Cream was a doctor who worked in both London and Chicago throughout the late 1800s. At the time, the idea of abortions were very taboo and were also considered to be a very serious crime. In fact, at this time, a lot of places had only just removed the death penalty as a punishment for anyone who had an abortion. So as you can tell, it wasn't something that was taken lightly. Thomas Cream, however, was a doctor who went against the norm and illegally specialized in abortions. However, Cream wasn't the most mentally stable person out there, and it was later discovered that he had poisoned and killed many of his patients. The weird thing about this is that originally he wasn't the primary suspect in the investigation, until he himself ordered that the bodies be heavily examined. This is when the investigation took a swift turn and the person who ended up being arrested for the crimes was none other than Thomas Cream. He was sent to prison in Illinois and stayed there until 1891 when he was let out for good behaviour. After he was let out, Cream decided to go back to London where he continued his crime spree. This time, his victims were primarily prostitutes, and he killed a handful of people before eventually being caught and sentenced to death in November of 1892. The last thing he ever said before he was executed were the words, I am Jack. This is more than likely in relation to one of Britain's most notorious and mysterious serial killers, Jack the Ripper. There are certain holes in the theory that Thomas Cream is Jack the Ripper, but experts say it's a possibility. Number two is Rafael Trujillo. Rafael Trujillo was a Dominican Republic president and vice president between 1930 and 1952. In 1930, Trujillo secretly made a deal with rebel leader Rafael Estrella Urena, in which Trujillo let Estrella take power and in return he would be allowed to run for president. During Trujillo's campaign for president, he organised a secret police force to torture and kill supporters of the opposing candidate. Trujillo was a disturbing character, known for his sexual prowess. He had an inclination for mulatto women, which means having one white and one black parent. He was later inclined to rape very young women. During his reign of power, Trujillo was at the helm for a reported 50,000 deaths, in conjunction with 10,000 in the Parsley Massacre in October of 1937. He was subsequently shot and killed in May of 1961 when his car was ambushed on a road outside of the Dominican capital. His 31 years of power are known to Dominicans as the Trujillo era and are considered to be one of the bloodiest eras ever in the Americas. Number 3 is Ryochi Naito. Unit 731 was a Japanese development center based around chemical and biological research. During the Second Sino-Japanese War, the center was used to host some of the most horrific and disturbing human experimentation ever concocted. They would use their unwilling subjects to test things like frostbite, syphilis, and also use them to test their weapons. Not only this, but the female prisoners were often subject to rape and were forced to become pregnant so that they could be experimented on. The majority of subjects tested in Unit 731 would ultimately die because of the extremely horrific experiments they were put through. Ryochi Naito was a pharmacist who was heavily involved with Unit 731, but is usually unspoken of. However, that doesn't take away from the crimes he committed. He was very involved with the experiments from the get-go and was actually credited with conceiving a lot of them. One of these experiments involved creating a bomb out of plague feces and infected objects. This actually went on to spark a plague which killed over 400,000 Chinese civilians. He also went on to start a company called Green Cross. The idea behind it was to provide blood samples for various third parties. But these samples were oftentimes infected with HIV and it actually caused over a thousand people to be infected with the disease. With all this in mind, it's unclear how many people Naito may be responsible for killing, but the number may reach over half a million. Number four is Bela Kish. Bela Kish was born in 1877 and was a Hungarian serial killer who was thought to have murdered as many as 24 young women, who he attempted to pickle inside giant metal drums that were kept on his property. 
Members of the Sinkota community noticed he was amassing a large number of drums in which he said there was gasoline to prepare for the looming First World War. He was recruited into the army and left the town. In July of 1916, the police in Budapest received a call from a Sinkota landlord who found several large drums. Soldiers were led to the drones by the town constable and when they approached, they noticed a questionable odour. Charles Nagy overlooked the investigation and subsequently opened one of the drums, in which a body of a strangled woman was found. Each of the other drums contained a similarly haunting sight. A search of Kish's house led investigators to a total of 24 bodies. Kish's housekeeper showed them a secret room that she was told to never go into. The desk in the room had a number of letters, Kish's reports with 74 women and a photo album. Kayla was found recovering in a hospital in Serbia, but he escaped by placing a body of a dead soldier in his bed. He was never caught, but there have been claims of sightings in numerous places around the world, including a New York City subway. Number 5 is Eugene Fischer. Eugene Fischer was a German professor of medicine who worked closely with a man who was widely considered to be one of the most evil people on earth, Adolf Hitler. Hitler hired Fischer to conduct an array of experiments, most of which involved race. It's a well-known fact that Hitler was fairly obsessed with race, and he actually believed that certain types of people were what he considered to be pure. He was so sure of this, in fact, that he hired Fischer to create a scale that would help determine the origins of people's race. This scale was used on a consistent basis to persecute those who did not fit Hitler's idea of perfection and was also used when Hitler was drafting the final solution, which was an idea Hitler had to commit systematic genocide on those he opposed. Hitler was very close to being successful with his plan as the final solution saw the death of two-thirds of the entire Jewish population in Europe, which totaled to around six million deaths. Eugene Fischer was an official member of the Nazi party and took a lot of pride in helping Hitler distinguish who was and wasn't applicable for the final solution. He was very obsessed with the idea of maintaining the purity of race and not only had a huge part to play, but was also in full support of the Holocaust. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, big thanks to The Walking Flimbo for helping me script and narrate this video. His channel will be in the description. If you want to check out more Disturbing Fives, I will link the last episode down there as well, along with a playlist that will bring you to every episode. But that's all for now. As always, until next time. <laughs>